Hi, I'm Thesia Ellis and welcome to Grandma's Homestead, except I'm not on the homestead. As you know, some of those of you who have been following me at all, you know I'm in Florida and I've been trying to get away on some uh, mornings and this time I'm here in the evening trying to get some work on my foot done while walking on the beach. I don't know how that's working out. That's where I am now. And I have to admit, yeah, right. You like wear blends. I feel a little silly talking with other people around me when you're out here on 40 acres by yourself all the time. You don't care when you talk to yourself, but when you're surrounded by people, you're talking to yourself. It feels a little weird, but it's still beautiful out here. So I'm going to try to. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour as I'm walking. We may talk a little bit here in a few minutes too, but it's about. I think it's about 7:30 in the evening, so. I'm facing the east we didn't get this we don't have a sunrise and the sunset you don't get to see anything of it but it's still beautiful so I want to show you I am at what they call Mickler Beach uh, I'm off of Ponte Vedra in uh, the town of Ponte Vedra outside of Jacksonville Florida and it's I just it's beautiful here and I don't know if that's showing very much of that but these are every day at certain times of the day usually about four or five o'clock in the evening there's thunderstorms and I think that's some residuals of some and you can hear the surf just a little bit. This one has me. I don't remember seeing this sign last time I was here. And I would really like to know what is the submerged object. So let's go on a walk. Off here in the distance is a yoga class. You know what? If I'd known about that, I probably would have come. But I don't have a yoga mat here. I didn't bring one. But I bet you I could have brought a towel and done something. I am not too far off of the main entrance. Like that house there is the main entrance this place and the entrance is right there yeah there's like quite a few people up here but look isn't that nice just beautiful and just not crowded there's a lot of beautiful houses along every beach pretty much but I have to admit, it's kind of sad. I mean, if you think about it, there's like one, two, three different, four decks on that house. And that one, it doesn't even have any lights on inside of it. But there, you never see anybody outside. I mean, and even when I've been here at different times of the day, all these multi-million dollar houses and no one is enjoying them. Now, there is a light on on that house, so there might be somebody there. But so many of these houses look like they're just not enjoyed and i think that's sad man i don't know if i can zoom in on it oh and it may disappear but there was a dolphin just very slowly going across the top of the water there or you know how they go up and down darn he disappeared it's right there can you see it he is out there Yep, right there. Can you see this thing? Right there. Just now saw it. Maybe he'll come back up again. Very cool. There are several things here. There's one there. There's another one nearby. It's hard to see. There's a couple down there. They're on the beach. And usually when they're cordoned off like that, that means a turtle has laid eggs there and you are not supposed to mess with it. And every once in a while at a certain time of the day, if you know when, you can actually see the turtles coming out and making their way across the beach to the water. We got to watch them one time years ago down on the Gulf of Mexico. Now, I think it was down on South Padre, but that's really cool. But I've seen several. I've seen one, two, three, four just right here, and I've seen some others along the way. But that's just cool that they corded it off like that. Well, I'm about to turn around and head back. I just want to walk about 15 minutes, try to loosen this foot up a little bit. I'm trying to do some physical therapy on my foot. I think I've said that. I've got a, an Achilles tendon that's giving me some issues, and I really want it to get better. But I did want to talk to you about something while I'm out here. 
first of all dad is better he's a lot better i mean for him he hasn't fallen over at all since i've been here i'm grateful for that i'm gonna sit down he hasn't sat down he hasn't fallen where before i got here he was falling like three times a day so i was really apprehensive about what i was going to have to do when i got here and uh he's doing well he spends a lot of time either sitting in a chair or nodding off staring off into space whatever like that but mom and i've had some pretty good talks and it kind of had me thinking on a few things. We've talked about death. We've talked about what their wishes are after they die. Dad wants to be cremated, but Mom wants a tombstone, and I assure her that they could have both, that she could, they could both be cremated, they could be buried right next, because Dad is insistent he wants to be buried right next to Mom. And uh, I said, yeah, you can have a tombstone with both of your names on it and still be cremated. And then, of course, we made a joke about Whoever dies first will be on bottom, and we both decided that if that was to happen with any of us, we want to be side by side. We don't want anybody on top of us at all. So it was pretty cool to have that conversation. But you know, when you only connect with people every once in a while, you talk about COVID, you talk about our country, what do you talk about? Because they're the they watch Fox News a lot. When they're not watching old movies, they're watching Fox News, and. Uh, We've had a few conversations about what, and anybody who knows me at all, I'm a strong believer of just leave me alone. I don't want to wear a mask, I don't want to get vaccinated, and I don't care what you think, it doesn't matter. You do you, and I want to do me. And I really resented being told I had to do something. That's not the American way, and that's the way I feel about it. And we had some conversations about that. And Mom saying, but I was getting confused. I was getting this information and people were telling me I was being lied to and the television was telling me one thing and I was confused. So I was thinking about it and uh, I told her, I said, Mom, you know what your alignment of views are. You know what you, what you know was best in your heart. And I understand that because you watch a specific channel or you do something very sp go to a specific place for information and if what they're telling you is not aligning with what your views are it's confusing you want to trust them you want to know you want to get good information but it was making you confused I said wherever the information is coming from assess it and see what aligns with your views. So I understand that sometimes you sometimes you hear things that don't don't align with align with your views, but you realize that they're probably right. Come to that conclusion. Do that. See, but assess it. Don't just. I don't know. I just felt for her because she really wanted to do the right thing, but she was confused because she was getting information all these different ways and being lied to. Everybody was lied to so badly, and so I was trying to help her to come to terms to have a better way of understanding what's being told to her. I, tried, I was trying to give her equipment. Well, like I told you on a several podcasts a while ago, check your bullshit meter. You know, if what you're hearing comes doesn't line up with, with, with what you know to be true or what you feel to be true, and but assess it, but check your bullshit meter. Are they bullshitting you? Are they giving you a line of crap? Or are they telling you something that you need to know? But there's no real reason to be confused. Just assess and move on and make your decisions after you've gotten the information from various places and move on. And I don't know if I helped her or not. I hope I did. I don't know. I do know it's been good to catch up with them. Wow, there's like two or three uh, dolphins out here. Just what for lack of a better word just strolling in the surf there's one was further out there's one that's much closer here that comes to the surface occasionally and it's just very relaxing and beautiful i think i've said that too anyway i did want to touch base with you guys get my walk in uh and you know how with any physical therapy anybody's having physical therapy at all it's very painful this is not fun but so I keep telling myself how beautiful it is and this is my opportunity to spend some time with you I'm here for a few more days I may have a couple more of these before I go back you know but uh, man I was liking sunset but I'm liking sundown too golly <laughs> I don't know we'll have to see how it goes but I just wanted, wanted to touch base with you let you know kind of what was going on and just give you a, little, a few words of 
encouragement or just things to think about and I know that you guys most of you guys can't go to the beach and I'll be perfectly honest I did not want to take this trip I did you know the the we've had some frustrating moments Ugh. take a mom and dad to the grocery store mom insists on going every day so she can get out of the house and it's uh, they both wander off in two different directions and neither one of them are very solid on their feet so I don't know I, we'll have to see but it hasn't been bad it's not been not nearly as bad as I was afraid it was going to be and I'm very grateful for that all right guys I'm going to shut down I'm going to head back home get ready to go to bed I know it's on down but I'm trying to stay on my time zone I know it's only one hour but I'm still trying to stay on my time zone and get up at the appropriate time so that when I do get home I can get back into the swing of things but I don't know I just want to share a few thoughts with you share with you the beauty of the place where I'm located and and share with you how mom and dad are doing all right guys god bless I'll see you next time